is your happy place. Okay, for me, uh, one of mine, I look at this every morning, you see what it says? It says, mountains please, right? So I think about that a lot. To me, uh, when I'm out in the trails, if I'm backpacking or hiking or camping, uh, but really especially running, uh, to me that's kind of like my lab in a way, and I'm kind of like the lab rat out there. I love to study. I know this sounds weird, but I love to study uh, just principles and theories of how I respond to things. Like when you think to me of how important momentum is in life, I love to study uh, how when I'm out in the mountains and I'm doing a trail run and it's raining and I'm fatigued and tired and I'm losing momentum, how I just get overwhelmingly uh, just slow and, and, and lackadaisical and just my heavy, right? Versus when the momentum shifts and you feel light, you just somehow have that. We've all heard of a second wind. Uh, I think a lot of times you can have a 30th wind. It's crazy what a human can do. You've heard the quote, the body can do just about anything. It's the mind you must convince. And so for me in the trails, I've had some of my highest highs and some of my lowest lows. And the crazy thing is, is that sometimes that happens in the same hour. And then sometimes it's in reverse order. And so I love to study that. I love to study how I can get myself out of that. And uh, of course, how that applies in real life. Because the mountains and the trails are one little part of life. But when you think about how does that apply to just daily living for me as a parent and in my business building and in uh, you know, the way that I interact with other people, how does that affect you? For us on a day-to-day -day level, uh, I always love to think about routines. And most of us look at at routines is a pretty healthy thing, right? When we're in a good routine, uh, you know, you can look at that as a habit. That's a healthy habit. Uh, routines can be great until they turn into a rut, okay? And I, and I really think there's a fine line there. And I'm, and I'm always trying to be aware of like, when, when are my routines, when am I stagnant? When am I kind of in a little bit of a rut here where I need to shake it up, okay? And so even on a day-to-day -day level, like let, let your body lead you. So for those of us that work in an office, which is a lot of people watching this, or maybe you work in a car, you, you, you travel a lot, you're out on sales calls, or you work from home, you're at a desk. What are little things we can do where our body can change our momentum to give us different results, okay? Some of you guys have heard the quote, sitting is the new smoking. Uh, I think it's true, okay? And I think just being stagnant in any way can be you know, just even your posture. So think about that for a little bit. If you're hunched over at a computer, uh, if you're making phone calls and you're sitting, Man, for one hour, if you, if you stand, use a standing desk, or for me, even when I'm on an important phone call, just walk into my office and how it's crazy to listen to the tone of your voice and how you speak differently, uh, you project with more confidence. To me, I think clearer. I, I just, I think it changes everything. It changes your whole energy. When momentum's in your favor, uh, it can get you.